I don't forget where I was at, but we'll just tell it from the word go. I grew up here in Coffeyville, Alabama, and as a kid, I would pedal yeah. my bicycle down to my dad's filling station, and I would work for a little bit of money sweeping the front, and I'd pump in gas to a lot of these people in here. I'd pump the gas for them, check their oil, and just have a little sideline job there. And <laughs> so I got older and graduated high school that shortly after my father passed away. And I didn't really know what I wanted to do, so I enlisted in the Army. Before I made it into the Army, I had a bad car wreck, which they gave me a medical discharge where I never really got to serve. And that's, that was my dream anyway. And where I'm getting at, this is, this is how I'm ending up where I'm going. So my dad had done passed away, and I'd gotten out of the hospital after this bad car wreck. There was a guy here in Coffeville that had a shop up here that made turkey calls. Had a heart the biggest the town of Coffeville. To give you the shirt off his back was just a real lovable, likable guy that he'd give employment to a lot of these women that are here today. And uh, if you've ever been around him or know him, you'll know what I'm talking about. But he'd give me a job working with him. And what we would do, we would travel all over the United States, Canada, and Mexico, and we would go film these deer hunts. And this is before all the TV shows on uh, the Outdoor Channel and all that ever come about. So that kind of made him a pioneer to get to seem like the, one of the first ones to, to start doing st stuff like this. But we would go hunting all over, the, all over the United States, and I got to meet a lot of people while I was um, traveling with Ben. We called him Roger. Most everybody else known him as Ben Lee. But here's a photograph when we were in Michigan deer hunting. There I am as a younger man that I am now. There's Ben Lee, and in the middle is Fred Bear. Fred Bear, the one that makes that is the founder of Bear Archery and Bear Bows. Uh, ben had killed this this little spike up there on that hunt. We were on a hunt to film better hunts. Back then, when you first started filming, you didn't have to have a big buck. You could just get by with shooting a doe or a spike or whatever, because it was it was going to turn into big business and. Uh, the big joke around my house was, you know, you grow up in the woods and you hunt around here, and, and my, my dad would always laugh, and I'm going to use the initials, I'm not going to use actually what he said, being selling BS. <laughs> but, uh, and he did a good job of it, you know, he would uh, take and, and, and we would go, and I think we were in Wisconsin one time, and, and Walmart was having a, having a grand opening, and uh, he had his rack of turkey collars there. That's really before he really got big into the, the grunt calls and the deer calls. And he stood up there and he told his story about yipping that big gobbler up and all them people were just sitting there just mesmerized, just taking all this in. And when they got through with it, that shelf immediately was cleared off. I mean, they, they bought everything on that, on that shelf. And... They was getting him to autograph it, and I was over there. I had never been much of a turkey hunter. I've always enjoyed bow hunting and deer hunting, but you you were Ben Lee. You you, you this, you that. And says, I said, yes, sir, I'm, I'm, I'm working with Ben. And here, you sign this right here, too. You know, they didn't know they was dropping the value of the turkey collar by having me sign another side of it. <laughs> but anyway, we had a lot of good times and a lot of fun. Uh, we would go to these shot shows. One time, I remember, and I wasn't with, I wasn't driving a vehicle then, but... I want to say it was Severn Hicks and Sammy Shields. I can't remember for sure, but anyway, they was going. They was going through Virginia because they had all the turkey calls and everything in the back of the little camper on the pickup truck, and they got pulled over by a state trooper in Virginia. Well, he gets out, commenced to chewing them out real good, and had that ticket book right. And he got to looking Alabama tag, and he looks on the side of that truck, and he said, "Lee turkey calls." He walks up there and says, "Can I ask you?" what lead calls this is and you're from Alabama is that right yes sir this is being lead being lead turkey calls you can't no no way ain't no way for real I said yes sir we got a whole back end truck load full of all kind of turkey calls no way <laughs> got back there they opened that hatch up and they had a little hit. one of every turkey calls they had there they give that state trooper okay you guys y'all have a good trip <laughs> slow it down but uh, that was just memories like that and getting to meet a lot of, a lot of big people, hunters, and famous people like Fred Bear, Tom Jennings, uh, Noel Fellow, the, the guy that does the paintings. And in every painting, 
of his of, of wildlife, and I've got some cars at home, and if I thought to have brought them, I would have, but every, every wildlife painting that he paints, he's got a deer hunter in a stand somewhere in that painting, and you have to really look to find it. But just getting to meet people like that and, and traveling around the United States, I was, you know, I've got to see just about every state in the Union. I've seen Canada and Mexico, uh, the wilderness part of it, and all that comes from Ben Lee. He gave me the opportunity to do that. He put Coffeville on the map. He would bring people in here. He was good for our town. He was a good person. Would do anything he could for you, and uh, he was well missed when he had that vehicle wreck, man passed away what was the early 90s and it was just it was just a, a big tragedy I mean there's a lot of a lot of good stories that 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 I'm probably missing and other people know that I mean if you knew him everybody had a story of their own so that's about about all I got other than you know just he was a good man and a good heart and he was good for this town of Coffeville and like I say I've got pictures here of different deer hunts and stuff that I brought down here that come from Coffeville and then I've got I've got hunts of where we were up here elk hunting. Got pictures of elk. I mean, it's just memories that I've got that I treasure, and I wouldn't take nothing for them. This picture right here happen, happens to be, I was talking about my father earlier. I worked at his filling station. Now, this is a gas pump with my dad. Mama, wouldn't you say, in the late 30s, early 40s? Uh, where he's standing at is the corner of Mr. Ian Robinson's store right out here. This building right back here was a house at the time. This is where we're at now. I mean, it's just funny. The, the roads was dirt. It's just fun, you know, funny how times change and we move on. Mm -hmm. This picture here was my daddy when I was a little boy working at the filling station when I'd ride my bicycle down there. <laughs> And I would pump gas every day after school, and on the, on Saturdays I would go down there all day, and I got to meet a lot of people. That's Mr. Lewis White. A lot of you know Grady Lee Gorderman. Grady yeah, worked for Dad on Saturdays, on weekends when he didn't wasn't working in the logging woods uh, through the week, and uh, just a lot of memories. And that's my daddy right there. I don't know. I must have been. What do you think, Mama? Ten years old. Eight. Eight. Seems like a long time ago sometimes, but then again, it don't seem so long either. Yeah. But anyway, that's all. That's all I got. And I mean, like I said, I'm not a storyteller. I can just tell it to you how it happened to me. And you know, I had the good times that we had, and you know, time moves on. But again, I want to thank the ladies of the library here. Y'all done an excellent job with getting all this put together. Let alone having having this day we've had today. This is this has been really nice. I've really enjoyed it, and I know everybody else here has done so as well. So I appreciate it. Thank y'all, and give these ladies a round of applause.